Alright, so we're gonna head up after this bugger. We can't find him. We know he's there. So we're prepared to stay if we need to. Uh, so we got camp on our back, food, and uh, just try to camp on this nice shooter billy until we can find him in a killable position. So we're on it. Now on the way up, I always find myself so struck in country like this, how much nature's fighting the mountains, breaking it down, eroding beautiful things, and making it that much more difficult to get up there. A big part of this hunt for me was the physicality. I train year round to be in shape to hike these mountains and to do it with weight on my back. And I was really looking forward to the pain part of this as well. I knew it was gonna be hard. When we got to elevation, we were surprised that the goat already had us spotted and we just couldn't close the distance and he lopped up over into some country we just couldn't chase him any further. After considering our inability to follow, we chose to pull back down to regroup the next morning. What we woke up to was enough snow that made that kind of country, again, dangerous. So after hunting the best we could in those conditions, in that area, we chose to pull back down, regroup, and go into another drainage the next day. got one spotted. Um, if we can't get him with the bow, we're going to pound him with a rifle. And uh, I ain't going to feel bad about it. this rough country. We've got some weather moving in. We need to get one down. Um, but uh, we're feeling hopeful. It's just a hell of a climb up there. Probably three hours from now. Hopefully we'll be sneak, sneaking over the top and putting something on it. Oh, 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 that was so freaking hard. Oh, I feel so blessed by God right now. Thank you, God. Look at this country. Look at the weather moving in.
All right, well, the reality is you don't achieve great things without people's help. And without Tom's help of putting us here, just flat out wouldn't have happened. Uh, the route up here kept us safe. The route out that I hope you keep us safe. <laughs> the fact that Bryce was willing to lug all this camera gear up here and get this beautiful cinematography and only want to punch me in the face like five times. He's not the man. So feeling super blessed. Thank you, God. Thank you, Outdoors International. I just feel so blessed to be here right now. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. It's right. awesome. I think the reason I got so choked up after I harvested this goat was that it just took so much to get where I was at that very moment. An amazing, majestic, beautiful mountain goat whose life I took that validated all that hard work. Now, it was going to be about doing the goat the honor of packing out his meat and his skin and his horns in a pack that I carried myself that I knew was going to be over 100 pounds, but it was important to me to go down with. That was one of the most difficult packouts in my life. 